Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to talk about the differences between specular and diffuse reflection of radiation when it hits a surface. We'll begin with a quick review of what happens when radiation is incident on a surface and then get into the results of the radiation hitting various surfaces. When radiation hits a surface, it can either be absorbed by the body, transmitted through the body, or reflected off of the body. The reflection portion will be the focus of this video. What happens when the radiation hits a surface of our body you may ask? Well, that depends on the type of body our radiation is hitting. So, let's imagine that we have a highly polished and very reflective surface, which essentially behaves like a mirror to the incoming radiant energy. Smooth is kind of a relative term here. The smaller the incoming wavelengths, the more the rough surface will have an impact on the incoming radiant energy. And this kind of makes sense if we think about it this way. When you're driving your car on the highway, it's very smooth. However, imagine you are a microscopic bug driving on the same road. It'll appear much more uneven to the bug than you. Therefore, we typically deem a surface smooth if the height of the surface roughness is much less than the wavelength of the incoming radiant energy. And you can hopefully see why this is the case here in this little drawing. So, let's say that we have an incoming ray of radiant energy incident on a smooth surface. So, our incoming wavelengths are much larger than the roughness of our body's material. Then, the angle of reflection of the incoming ray is going to equal the angle of reflection. When this occurs, we have what is called specular or regular reflection. So that is why this type of reflection is often called a mirror-like reflection. Because if we draw our surface normal here, you can see that we essentially have created a mirror about our spot of contact. However, what if our incoming wavelengths are not significantly larger than the roughness of our surface? Well, then what we have is called diffuse reflection. And as we can see here, our radiant energy bounces off in every possible direction, and not in one concentrated ray like in specular reflection. So let's draw another close-up of a road, which I'm assuming is very reflective in this case, and it makes it a lot more sense of why our rays are now bouncing off in every single direction. Although specular and diffuse reflections are important ways to analyze radiation incident on a given surface, due to radiant energy occurring over a wide distribution of wavelengths and surface roughnesses typically varying along a material surface, we typically end up with something of a mixture between diffuse and specular on a real surface. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of specular, diffuse, and real reflection of radiant energy. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.